My dear friends, as we hear that first part of the gospel, I hope that you and I realize that we are in that sort of weird area where, you know, the bridegroom, the Lord Jesus Christ, isn't physically with us. And so for us, it is a time of preparation, as they said, of fasting, of prayer, of longing, of waiting. But on the other side, the Lord Jesus is also truly with us through His Word, through the Eucharist, through the sacraments, through the Church, through our holy and beautiful relationships. And so there is also a cause for us to rejoice. I think it's an invitation for us today to have a look at the balance of our Christian life. Am I making enough time for prayer? Am I giving of myself to others? Do I perform works of penance that are you know, suitable to my current way of life, my health, my age. You know, penance, as we know, is not just a Lent thing. And, you know, it's not just fasting or abstinence or almsgiving. There are a few other things that we can do if we look at the catechism, other options. You know, fasting and all the other acts of penance, when done with a good intention and in a balanced way, actually bring spiritual good to us. It allows us to get in touch with our deeper hunger for God and also of the deeper hunger of humanity, whether physical or spiritual, and allows us to look upon what, look upon what really is essential in our lives and what is essential to the lives of other people. And so there's an invitation for us there, dear friends, to have a good look at the way we live and see whether we are holding the balance of celebrating because the bridegroom is with us, but also preparing our hearts and our bodies and our souls for when the Lord does definitively come to be with us. Mm -hmm.